Hi Pisces, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, who's the new person coming towards you in regards to love? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's see who this person is. I'm going to describe I'm going to try to describe them as best as possible. All right, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me who's this new person? Who's the new person coming towards Pisces in regards to love? Let's get one shuffle. All right, here we go. Who's the new person coming towards Pisces in regards to love? First card we have, ooh, nice, Ace of Swords. So this is a really good communicator. That's important. Communication is important in any relationship. So this is someone who's very honest, very straightforward, very clear with their thoughts and with their feelings. Hmm. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra for some of you. Yeah, I feel like there's a bluntness here to that to their energy. I feel like this is this person is very blunt, very forthright. They might have an issue with filtering with filtering what they say. I feel like this person is not really good at filtering themselves because you know it's really important to be honest and clear um, with your communication, but you know sometimes you also have to filter it. You can't just say anything, you know, anything that comes up in your head, in your mind, you know. You know, you do have to um, respect also. Respect people. Okay. Tell me more about who's the new person coming towards Pisces in regards to love. Oh, look at that, strength card. I was just talking about respect. Strength is kind of like an energy of respect. Hmm. Let me see what else comes out. Could be a Leo for some of you. Why do I feel like this person might sometimes be a little bit disrespectful? But I do feel like they quickly apologize, you know? I feel like they quickly um, recognize where they went wrong or they recognize, you know, maybe I shouldn't have said that or maybe I shouldn't have said it in that way or in that tone. And I feel like they definitely quickly um, correct themselves and they quickly apologize. Okay, well, that's good. All right. Tell me more, Spirit. Who's the new person coming towards Pisces in regards to love? And yeah, there we go. Page of Cups. You know, Page of Cups is kind of like that energy of an apology. Which is what I was talking about. I feel like this person very quickly apologizes. And they definitely try to um, not repeat it because I don't feel like this person just, you know, apologizes and five seconds does it again. Um, they might do it again, but I definitely see that they put a lot of effort into um, not repeating the same mistake again. Not repeating the same mistake twice. Hmm. So I definitely see that this person is going to have a lot of feelings for you with the Page of Cups. There's a lot that they like about you. There's a lot that, they're, that they feel attracted to you about. Hmm. 
All right, I need to dig in a little bit more to this person. It feels a little bit vague. Tell me more about this new person coming towards Pisces. It's feeling a little bit vague. I definitely feel like this is someone who... Hmm. I actually feel like this person does keep secrets here, which is interesting because we do have the Ace of Swords. So they're very honest about how they feel and how they what they think but i i kind of feel like this person also there's a side there's a side to them that they keep a secret or that there's part of their emotions that they don't actually talk about unless you ask them because if you ask them i feel like this is the type of person that you know they'll they'll tell you what it is but if you don't ask them, then they're just not going to say anything, you know? All right. Tell me more, Spirit. Who's the new person coming towards Pisces? We have, oh, you see? There we go. Two of Swords. You see, this is what I was saying. I feel like this person keeps some things locked up inside. There's some things that this person doesn't want to communicate about. But I do feel like they're going to tell you also. I am getting that energy of someone who's going to tell you, like, listen, I don't want to talk about that. Like, listen, I just want to keep that to myself. Like, I want to I wanna keep that private, you know? So they are going to tell you that. They're going to tell you that they're, not, that they're not willing to communicate about that and that, you know, they, they hope that you respect them. So I am getting specifically about their childhood. So they might, there's some things in their childhood that they don't want to talk about that you might ask them um, about and they'll, they'll be honest with you in, in telling you that they don't want to talk about it because it's a sensitive subject, okay? It's a sensitive subject for them. Yeah, I'm getting specifically something uh, around father. By the way, guys, I'm psychically channeling these messages, okay? I just, I'm, I'm psychically receiving them. Yeah, something about their father that they don't want to talk about. That's a, that's a very sensitive um, subject, um, their relationship with their father. All right, tell me more about this new person, Spirit. Who's the new person coming towards Pisces in regards to love? We have, okay, five of pentacles. So this person might have some abandonment issues, again, specifically related to their dad, their father, because it's right under the strength card. And this is kind of like the energy of the, the, the father, the dad. This person feels very abandoned um, by him. Hmm. What's interesting, Pisces, is that I don't really feel like this person um, is going to keep um, all of this information to themselves forever. You know, I feel like this is something that they are going to eventually, you know, feel comfortable with sharing with you. But it's going to take time for them to reach that level or reach that point. You know, and again, I'm specifically specifically getting um, I'm specifically getting that they don't want to talk about their childhood, like a lot of things about their childhood, not just their father, but a lot of things that they don't want to talk about. But I do see that, that eventually they will talk about it. It's just going to take time. So you are going to have to be patient with this person. Um, yeah, in regards to like them being fully vulnerable with you. All right, tell me more about the new person coming towards Pisces. I do see that this person has a really, really big heart. Okay, I will say that. This person has a very, very generous heart and a very um, loving heart. Um, they're very loyal is also what I'm getting here from them. They're extremely loyal um, and they're very committed to um, the people that they love. 
I also feel like they're very connected to their friends and also to like certain family members, specifically their mother. I feel like they're very, very connected to their mother. And um, if they have siblings, I feel like they're very connected to their siblings. Um, I'm getting like a strong nurturing energy from them. Yeah. All right, tell me more about the new person coming towards Pisces in regards to love. And here we have the Six of Wands. So I do feel like there's a little bit of a front with this person. I do feel like this person, like I said, there's a lot of things that they don't want to talk about. Um, so because it makes them feel really vulnerable. So I do feel like this person wears a little bit of a, a, a disguise of confidence, you know, that they don't actually really have. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person is constantly trying to prove themselves to their to their um, close families and, and close friends. Like, they constantly feel the need to prove themselves. So this is someone who definitely feels undervalued in the in their life by their by their closest, you know. By the, by the people closest to them. They feel very undervalued. They feel underappreciated. So they're constantly trying to like um, do these big things or like achieve this these big milestones, in, especially in their career, in their work, because or in their studies. I'm getting specifically their studies um, because they definitely want to... They want the approval, like they want the the validation, the recognition, the approval of of their of their closest friends and family members. Okay, so that's just to give you an insight about a little bit about this person and their personality. But they're very um, generous and caring, and um, this is the type of person that will be there for you whenever you need them. Like they'll always pick up the phone, you know. Or they'll they'll always respond to your message, you know. If you need help, they'll always um, they'll always make the effort to help you as best as they can. It's like this person wants someone to tell them that they're proud, you know? I'm getting specifically their father. Like this, it's like this is someone who wants their, their father to be proud of them, you know? So they're constantly like seeking that validation by, you know, being very successful. I feel like, you're, I feel like this person is very successful in their career and in their studies. Um, I feel like this person has reached high levels of you know, of status. Yeah. But they still feel like they haven't done enough. Like they feel like they need to like achieve more and accomplish more because they are looking for that validation, constant validation. Oh, that's sad. I wouldn't, you know, be turned off by this person because of that, because I feel like they, they're an extremely loyal and generous person, and I feel like that should be heavier, like that should weigh heavier than, you know, the bad parts of them, the more insecure parts of them. And conflicted, Conflicted parts of them, 
Um, I feel like this person has a lot more good than they have a lot more bad, you know? And I also see this person has a lot of potential for growth, for personal growth. So this is not the same. This is not a person that's always gonna get be stuck with the same issues. Like I see this person definitely um, slowly evolving out of those issues and out of those insecurities, which is a a nice thing to see. All right, so let's see the outcome, most likely outcome between you and this person moving forward, Pisces. Let's see, spirit angels and guys, please show me what is the most likely outcome between Pisces and this person moving forward? What's most likely to happen between Pisces and this person moving forward? And where is this relationship headed? All right, first card we have is the Six of Swords. For some of you, this is long distance. This is a long distance relationship. Let's see what else. We also have the Ten of Swords here. All right, tell me more. What's the outcome? Most likely outcome. We also have the Hangman. Okay. And we have the Star. That's nice with the Hermit card and the Seven of Pentacles. And here we go with the Page of Pentacles, that's nice. King of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah, look at the bluntness I was talking about, you see? King of Swords, male or female, doesn't have to be a man, could be a woman. You see King of Swords with the Nine of Wands. I feel like this person sometimes, you know, doesn't have a good filter in in what they say with you know regards to how they communicate you know i was getting that and i feel like here it is again uh, this person sometimes might say something out of frustration something that they shouldn't have said out of frustration but the good thing is that they quickly correct themselves they quickly apologize they quickly make things right with the page of pentacles so that's a good thing now in regards to the outcome i do see you um feeling optimistic here about this person you're gonna have some doubts though with the hermit card but overall you're gonna feel pretty optimistic about this connection in this relationship you are gonna see you're gonna see the potential seven of pentacles and the hangman that's your card pisces Connected to the Seven of Pentacles, which is all about potential and growth. So you're definitely going to see the potential between you and this person. I feel like this person is going to slowly win your heart. Because even though you see the potential, I do see you kind of resisting. You know, resisting to open up to this person. Especially because you have the Ten of Swords here. So it does look like you might have gone through a recent breakup or separation. Or if it's not recent, you know, you're still kind of grieving some sort of um, negative experience that you went through in, in love. You're still, you know, you're in the, you're in the middle of, of a transition with the Six of Swords. Um, leaving behind the past, leaving behind this you know, painful situation, this painful relationship, and moving towards a more fulfilling future, a more fulfilling connection and relationship with the star card. So the thing, the thing here is that your intuition is going to be telling you that you're safe. You're safe to let this person in. You're safe to trust this person. Your intuition is going to be communicating that to you. But also your soul. Your soul is going to feel at ease with this person. Mm -hmm. You're going to be feeling a spiritual connection with them. It's going to feel very spiritual. And it's, it's going to feel like a, a divine union. Like it's, like it's meant to be. Like it's part of destiny. You know, it's going to feel like that. But you're, you are going to second guess yourself. You are going to like doubt it a little bit. 
but I don't see that lasting too long because um, this person's gonna make it easy for you or they're gonna make it a lot easier for you to open up than, than what you've experienced in the past. I wanna take a look at that actually. Tell me about that energy, um, Hermit to the Star, connected to Pisces in regards to this new person spirit. Tell me about the Hermit to the Star. Ooh, Eight of Pentacles, okay. Yeah, so you're definitely going to be checking this person, right, with the Eight of Pentacles. You're gonna be checking them. You see, this is why they told you over here, you know, I don't want to talk about certain topics because I feel like you're going to be questioning them a lot. Eight of Pentacles, you're going to be doing your research, you know. You're going to be doing your research with this person. You're definitely going to be asking them a lot of questions to get the most information out about them. And the fact that there's some things that they don't want to talk about, it is going to cause you to feel a little bit like maybe you can't trust them. But I feel like that's not true. I feel like this is someone who you can definitely trust. Um, it's just that, you know, they're a little bit sensitive to certain subjects. But I do see that eventually, like I said, they, they are going to tell you everything about them. It's just going to take time. I feel like this person needs to like really have a strong friendship with you first. Um, but I do see the potential here and I see things growing. We have the seven to the eight, which is basically my sign of things growing, you know, from the seven to the eight. It's like things are going to work out. Things are going to align between the two of you. It's a work in progress, but I feel like it's a work in progress that you're going to enjoy. It's like you're going to enjoy the process. It's going to, you're, you're going to enjoy the journey with this person. Because I also feel like there's something healing here. Like this person's going to bring you a lot of healing energy and you're going to bring them a lot of healing energy as well. Anything about the King of Swords to the Page of Pentacles and this person's energy, new person's energy? The Two of Wands. Okay, tell me more. And the world. Yeah, there's definitely something about long distance. Both of these cards represent long distance. So um, you, you two might live a little bit far away from each other. But I don't really see that being an issue. I feel like um, you two are going to navigate around that pretty well. So yeah, it's going to take a little while for this relationship to like grow and develop. And I do feel like distance has something to do with it because I feel like um, it's almost like you're going to visit them and they're going to visit you, but it's going to be like in, in intervals, you know, like, like every month, like, or every two months. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's like every month or two months. I'm trying to figure that one out. It almost feels like it's one or two with the two of ones. Like every month or every two months, like you're going to visit them and then, you know, um, flipped. Every one or two months, they're going to visit you for like a week. I mean, this is for those who have like a long distance situation here. It's not going to be for everyone. But I just, overall, I feel like you two are just going to be able to navigate whatever obstacles you have um, pretty well with each other. Because there's good communication. That's, that's why. That's really what's causing things to, to work out so well. Because this person is really a, a really good communicator. And I feel like... Um, I wouldn't say you're the best communicator, Pisces. I mean, you're pretty good as well, but I mean, not as good as them. But I feel like they're going to compensate, you know. They're going to compensate for you. Because I definitely feel like you're a little bit more quiet, a little bit more um, reserved. You know, you do, keep some, you do keep things to yourself. 
but this person's going to compensate for that because they're like a like a really really good um, communicator more than the normal person is you know so it just it basically balances out it, it balances out okay Pisces I'm going to stop the reading here I hope this reading helped and I hope it um, gave you clarity thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye guys take care